Settle down, June. Take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. Take it easy. Well, what kind of idiot do you think I am, Felix? Did you really think I would have figured things out? It's okay. I can't believe I had to pull you kicking and screaming out of her front yard with Derek on your hip. Oh, you would want to protect her. I never cheated on you. Before well, her, right? That, that's right. Years of jealousy, rages, and accusations. You never trusted me. Don't act like you're not part of the problem. Please. Me and your son mean nothing to you. That's not true. You need help, June. It's been bad for a long time. I never know when you're going to lose it. Oh, yeah? You can't live with me? Well, guess what? You don't have to. I'd rather die than let you live with him. Yeah, Needed to get away. To girls' weekend. <laughs> More specifically to Kathy. Or should I say Principal Sullivan? I just hope I don't screw it up. What are you talking about? You've got this. You were voted best teacher three times, and now you'll make even a better principal. It is a dream come true. Megan, Stacy, I don't know if I could have made it through the past year without you two in my corner. We're going to always be here for you whenever you need us. God, I hope they come and fix the AC. Hmm. It's been about an hour. Let me call them again. Good idea. Hey there. Are you new? Where's Clint tonight? I already called him twice about room 302. Yeah, actually the first time I'm Ian. I'm Ian. I hope you're good with ACs. Don't worry. I got you covered. A little more. A little more. You know me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> now, let's talk about your man situation. Or the lack of one. Don't even go there. Between work and my separation with Ben, it's the furthest thing from my mind. I'm sure Ben's not wasting time on the dating apps. I'm sorry. That came out wrong. <laughs> you know me and wine. We both agree we just need a little time apart. He can do whatever he wants. Still, it wouldn't hurt to have a little fun. Oh, finally. I'm starting to sweat. Come on in. Hi, uh, you guys called about the AC? Oh, yes. We can't seem to get it to come on. Let me see. Do you think you can turn it on for us? What? Sometimes you just have to. There you go. System just need to be reset. <laughs> no problem. When I need my system resettled, I'll know just to call. Is there anything else I can do for you lovely ladies? Well, I could think of a couple things. That no, I need. we're good. Thank you. We appreciate your help. Just call. Thank you, Ian. I'll let you guys get back to it. Uh, I wouldn't 
wouldn't mind spending a few hours under that. <laughs> oh, and men that age are always trying to prove how good they are in bed. Ah, mm. it sounds like you have some first-hand experience. Maybe. Maybe not. He's just a college kid. Mm. This is probably his summer job. We should leave him a fat tip. Megan! <sighs> Okay, you two. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna have a quick hot tub before I crawl into bed. What about her? Let her sleep it off. You need me for breakfast? Sounds like a plan. Thank you again for setting this up. No, no problem, hon. But really think about this man thing. Maybe it's time for you to step your little toe back into the swimming pool of romance. <laughs> we'll see. Good night. Good night. Hi there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. I was just deep into my thoughts. Hotel lets us use the amenities after our shift. I was just enjoying the night before heading up to bed. I don't think I caught your name. I'm Ian. I remember. I'm Kathy. It's nice to meet you, Kathy. Sure, you don't want to join me? No, I'm good, thanks. The water feels pretty great. saw you you weren't moving and I got worried I oh no, no no I'm sorry I like to float underwater it helps me to relax you were down there and not moving I just I feel so silly I was a lifeguard in college I'm sorry. I I'm a sorry. natural reaction I guess <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mean to scare you like that I have to admit it was pretty sexy the way you jumped in uh, not what I was going for but thank you all the same Well, I better get up to my room. It's pretty late. It's not that saved my life. Um. Well, I mean, I don't normally. What? <laughs> Come on, we're just two adults. I think you're pretty hot. Okay. Look, we can just hang out. Maybe grab a drink from the mini bar. It's on me. Maybe just one drink. I feel a little silly inviting you back to my room. I'm old enough to... There's nothing old about you. You are smart and beautiful. I could tell from the moment I saw you. Look, I'm still technically married. What does technically mean? Well, we're separated, but I'm hoping that we work things out. It's great. I hope that happens. Tonight, it's just you and me. This just isn't me. Look, you're not hurting anyone, are you? It feels good. We're just two adults that are attracted to each other. And whatever happens stays between us.
and my apologies for your AC problems last night. Please, thank the maintenance guy. Ian, I believe? I'm sorry, I don't know that name. Ian, I think he's new. <laughs> well, I'm happy we were able to assist. You ladies have a good day. Thank you. All right. Last night, after I woke up and went back to my room, I could have sworn I saw that Ian got coming out of the room next to mine. Wasn't that your room? My room's next to your room, but... Oh, no, you didn't. Kathy, wait, you guys don't know the whole story. Don't worry, we will. Such a naughty girl. Got it? Yeah, Clint. What? I did everything you wanted me to. You can have that back. Remember to keep your mouth shut. I don't even know you. Don't worry. Is that good stuff? You got this from your dad? Stepdad. All this for some chick. She must be special. Yeah, you could say that. Dropped me off after speech therapy. He said he could tell a big improvement. Well, it's true. You've worked really hard. I hate saying goodbye to Dad. I know. It's hard. We just need a little time apart, okay? There's something different about you. How was your trip? Good? Uh, yeah. It was great. Just had some time with the girls. Watch your mouth! Did you at least feed Mom? Yeah, she's fine. I'm worthless. What'd you say, boy? You okay, Ma? My baby, yes. <laughs> of course, I'm doing fine. Did Boom feed you? Yes, you always look out for me. He can be so mean. I know. You won't have to put up with it much longer. I promise. And her daughter can't be late on the first day. You okay? You nervous? What if it's the same? What if they don't like the don't way? Don't worry about it, sweetie. You're doing so much better now. 
Just relax and be your beautiful self. New school, new friends for both of us. Ten minutes, okay? Okay, Mom? Yeah, I'm fine. Mom? Here she is. Here are your messages so far, Miss Sullivan. A handful of messages before 8 a.m.? That's how you know it's the first day of a new school year. It's always so exciting. Are you ready for your first class? I guess. That's all right, Bree. You're gonna love it here, I promise. Well, um, see you after school. Have a good day. Sorry about that. The first day jitters. Mm -hmm. Things at her last school were complicated. Some of the girls there made it difficult for her. Gotta get to these. Good morning, everyone. Please take your seat. Have you seen the new girl? The principal's daughter, right? She's our number one new project. I am not going to let the budget for cheer get cut the year I'm captain. And becoming besties with the principal's daughter. Exactly. You're evil, Leslie, but in the best way. Shakespeare, folks. That's the name for the semester. We're going to study three of his plays this year. Tardy. The first day. Sorry, sir. New school. I'm trying to find my way around. It's that guy Ian, right? We've met him before. Yeah, I think so. Hey, Gina. Leslie. He must have transferred from that school, East High. We met him at Sarah's party, remember? Yeah, I remember. All right, take your notebooks out, please. What I want you to do is I want you to take three minutes and write down everything you already know about Mr. William Shakespeare. Hey, what's your name? Um, Bree. First day here. In the back. Focus, please. This is my friend Gina and my boyfriend Steve. Hi there. I'm Bree. Yeah, the principal's daughter, right? Uh, yeah. Cool, yeah, we've been wanting to meet you all day. Have you thought about trying out for cheer? <laughs> I'm not really the cheerleader type. What? No, you're totally cute and athletic looking. We're always looking for girls in shape to try out. Some of them just don't know when to skip the french fries at lunch, you know? Tryouts will be next week. We're always looking for awesome new girls to join our squad. And for hanging out. What are you doing now? Um, I was just going to do some homework. I I'm just w w waiting for m my mom to finish so we can go home. Why do you speak like that? Why don't you shut the hell up? 
Chill, dude. I'll chill when you stop being a jackass. Okay. Calm down. Whatever. I gotta go practice. Later, babe. Sorry about him. Guys can be so clueless sometimes. Um, don't worry about it. Uh, we're gonna go get a slice of pizza next door if you wanna join us. Would love to meet her personally. Miss Sullivan. Hi, girls. Hi, I'm Leslie Weaver, the cheer captain. It's so great to finally meet you. Gina Jones, the co-captain. Nice to meet you, girls. I've heard so many good things about your squad. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. We're so excited to have a new woman principal. Hashtag girl power. <laughs> um, so we have a favor to ask. What's that? We want to take Brie to our favorite pizza joint. Just hang out, show around some. Please say yes. Well, home by six? Uh, yeah, no problem. Promise. Okay, then. You girls have fun. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Nice to meet you, and thank you so much for showing Brie around. It's always rough being a new student. See you later. Your mom's sweet. Much nicer than the old principal. He always looked like he had a bad case of gas. <laughs> Where did that guy go? Ian? I don't know. He has a habit of disappearing all the time. And leave that girl Bree Sullivan alone. Why do you care? You have a thing for her or something? Shut that mouth before I shut it permanently. You got that? Thanks. Thanks. Okay, what the hell was that with Anne in the library? Like that towards any girl. What's the deal? Do you have a thing for him? I mean, I get the whole bad boy thing, but give me a future CEO. He was the one I lost it to. Last year at the Halloween party. You told me you lost it to Kyle Lopez. I lied. Why? I felt stupid. I thought he liked me. Turns out it was a one night stand. Did you disappear too earlier in the art room? I got a call from my mom that I need to answer. But I heard you guys were coming here. Hope you don't mind. Why are you being so friendly to me? Why wouldn't I? Or anybody else, for the matter of fact. Well, with the kids in my old school, it was hard. My stutter used to be pretty bad, and a lot of them made my life... well... Sucks. You let me know if anyone bothers you. Okay? Us new kids have to stick together. So what's your mom? It's principal like. She can be a little uptight sometimes. But I guess she's okay most of the time. My parents got separated last year though. It's tough. What about your parents? They're complicated, but it's whatever I'm a senior, I'll be out here soon. Ian, what a surprise to see you again. Yeah, I was walking by and saw Bree. Uh-huh. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, so this next weekend, Gina's parents are off Europe again. Right, which means one thing. Party. I'll see you then. I'm gonna go home and check on some things, but see you tomorrow. Seems like you made an impression. <laughs> I don't know why. Good question. Hey, Mom. Mom. I'm in the kitchen. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Dinner just got delivered. Sorry, my day wiped me out. I'm not that hungry. Oh, that's right. You just went for pizza. I'm so glad to see you making friends already. 
We'll see. I don't know what they want with me. Bree, you shouldn't say things like that. I know things were difficult at your last school, but this is a fresh start for both of us. Maybe. I did meet a cute guy, but nothing will probably come of it. Tell me all about him. He's pretty hot. I bet even you would think so. Well, I better keep an eye out for him then. I'm gonna go wash up. Okay. How's the going? Um, it's okay, actually. Can it mess with you again? No. He was in my history class and didn't even look in my direction. Good. You let me know if that changes, okay? Um, sure. Thanks. I have a feeling we have a lot in common. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. You guys uh, sit together at lunch? I spoke to Steve. He promised to be... Good boy. Um, actually, me and Bree were gonna eat outside of the picnic tables. She's gonna help me with that English essay. Oh. Okay, yeah. Uh, next time. Yeah, next time. <laughs> so I'm helping you with an essay now? Yeah, I just wanted to be the two of us. I want to get to know you better. I get a major vibe that Gina doesn't like the idea of us hanging out. Are you two a thing? No, I mean, I think she'd like to be, but some stuff happened a long time ago, and... But? But? I'm new here. I can't afford to make enemies already. I'll smooth things over with Gina, okay, I promise. Walk you Mr. Bono's? Sure. I really loved your proposal for the school literary magazine, Mr. Bonner. Thanks. I've been trying to get it going for years, but, you know, budget. I know. We'll find the funding. I'm Mrs. Sullivan. How are you? Good, you're back. The nutritionist, Mrs. Gladstone, said she'd be here in a bit to go over some questions she had. Miss Sullivan, are you... Do you happen to know a new student I just saw in Mr. Bono's class? I'm sorry, of course. There's so many students. Well, what did they look like? Well, I saw him walking into the classroom with Bree. Oh. Yes, I... I didn't want to say anything. It's none of my... Mrs. Truman, just tell me. Well... I saw Bree walking down the hallway earlier with a certain young man, a very attractive young man, but his name is Ian Johnson. Ian. He's a senior, but he was a senior last year, too, at another school my friend works at. Always in trouble, she said. She told me he had a meltdown in class one day and threw a chair through a window.
friend says he's a very troubled young man. One step from Juvie, he's got a file as thick as war and peace. <laughs> Juvie. When he showed up here asking for a transfer from the previous principal, Mr. Parks, his parents were notably absent. Sad, actually. Mr. Parks let him transfer once he swore he'd change. <laughs> the girls are still nuts about him, though. I guess it's those bad boy looks, and it's true he could charm the pants off him if he wanted to. Oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't the best choice of words. I would just say, keep an eye on Bree. I would hate to see her getting her heart broken by the school's new Lothario. Are you sure you're okay? Can I get you anything, help you with something? No, I'm fine. Thank you for the background information on the student. Um, what did you say his last name was again? Ian Johnson. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for him. Thank you. Well, this is an early call. Something horrible has happened. Uh, it's barely nine. What could have happened already? I made a very, very bad mistake. Uh, what kind? At work? It's worse than you can possibly imagine. My next meeting is here. Just a minute. I have back-to-back -back meetings the rest of the day. I don't know how I'm supposed to get through this after... Okay, pull yourself together. Megan, I need you to come over tonight. Ben is picking up Bree for dinner. I need you to help me figure this thing out. Okay, look, just let me know when you want me to be there. I'm sure whatever it is, we can fix it. All I can say is that I made a big mistake at the hotel that night. Bree, hold up. So, you never told us. How was lunch with Ian? Um, I, I just, I helped him with Mr. Bono's essay. Ian took care less about essays. Why do you think he's a senior again? Um, maybe he wants to do better. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we were gonna go ahead to the gym to get ready for cheer tryouts. Wanna join? Yeah, if you wanna try out, you should definitely get involved. Um, I'm just not sure it's for me. I think so. <laughs> Most girls would kill to get an inside edge on getting on the team. Uh, let us know if you change your mind. You could have a kid in school if you played your cards right. We'll see you later, yeah. Twin. They're just... Just being them. Yeah. <laughs> Assault. Assault and probation. Come in. Day two and contraband found already. I mean, they usually wait at least a week. What'd you find? This was in the bathroom. I mean, you could skin a deer with this thing. I'll write up a report for you. Thank you, Officer Compton. <laughs> hey, do you happen to know a new student here named Ian Johnson? <laughs> yeah, you're talking about the chair thrower from the other school. Yeah, uh, you know, I thought Principal Parks was nuts for letting him transfer here. You know, his stepfather's a real winner, too. I, I went to high school with him. He's practically got a good customer card at the county jail. Why? Is this kid starting up already? No, I just want to know what we're dealing with. Yeah, well, keep an eye on that one. Thank you. So, where are you heading now? She's going to start some homework. I have at least another hour to wait for my mom. Do you mind if I come? I mean, I'd love to meet your mom. Really? I mean, most kids, except Leslie and Gina, try and dodge the new principal. Oh, I mean, you're pretty special, so I'm guessing your mom is too. Okay. I'm gonna be honest here. You were pretty hot. Guys like you pay attention to girls like Leslie and Gina. Not me. Don't sell yourself short. 
I don't know. I just feel like we have a connection. You say so. I say so. today oh sure no problem could you cover for me i'll call you before the office closes thank you that was certainly sudden free and just about every subject free mom what's going on we need to leave early something wrong no everything's fine we just need to take care of something at home um by the way this is ian he's in my english class hi mrs sullivan it's great to meet you i've been getting to know brie and you have a great daughter nice to meet you ian it's time to go have a great night Mom, that was so rude. He's a nice guy. He's been like the one truly nice person to me here. I'm sorry, but we just have to go. Where's the fire? What is wrong with you? Bree, about Ian. I've heard something about this boy, and I would prefer it if you didn't spend any time with him, okay? What? So you want me to stay away from the one person at this school who's gone out of their way to be nice to me? After everything that happened at my last school? Great, Mom. Bree, Mrs. Truman told me that... What? Weren't you the one who told me not to listen to gossip? This isn't gossip. What do you have against Ian? I know this doesn't sound fair, sweetie, but you have to trust me on this. Please, just listen to me. Whatever. said you have to eat at regular times to keep your strength up. You better see it for diaper. Come out of here. Hey. Look. We'll get started. We're gonna make her pay for what happened. Okay, I'm gonna get us out of here. It's our time. I'm gonna get revenge for the both of us. I'm gonna do what Dad would have done. I'm gonna save Bree. Look, I never cheated on you. Oh, before you arrive. Do you want something to drink? Uh, no thanks. What happened to the no drinking during the week rule? It's been a day, let's just say that. Yeah? 
Hey, Dad, I'll be down in a moment. Okay. Thanks, kiddo. Are you okay? We just had a little disagreement. With a teenager? Imagine that. <laughs> Seriously, are you okay? I'm fine. It's just work stuff. Thanks for driving down here. I told you I'm committed to being present in Bree's life no matter what it takes. You're a good father. <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know, I feel like maybe we should tell her the whole truth about why we separated. About me telling you the truth. No. That was the past, okay? And it wasn't one thing. It never is. I think telling Bree about an affair that happened years ago is just going to make things worse for her, so... We just screw apart. Okay? And hey, I never asked you how the girls' weekend was with uh, your friends. Fun? Ready. Okay, kiddo. How does Italian sound? Whatever's fun. Andiamo. We'll be back in a couple. I need you to come over right away. Okay, okay, I'll head over. Please hurry. I'm on my way. So the price of admission to this fine establishment is you need to talk to me. How's the new school? It's okay, I guess. I know, it's rough being the new kid. I know you've had all these changes you've had to deal with. I'm really sorry about that. It's worse with mom being totally unreasonable about some things. Like what? I don't want to talk about it right now. Okay. Just do me a favor and cut her a little slack, would you? So this is what they call al dente. Not bad. that you hooked up with this one of your students? Seriously? It gets worse. Oh my God, are you pregnant? If only that's all it was. Okay. Is he underage? Thankfully, when I looked up his information, I saw that he turned 18 not long before that night. God. Well, thank goodness he's an adult. But a student at my school. And it gets worse. Worse than this possible scandal? I don't know why. Maybe he's mad by how dismissive I was to him the morning after, but he seems to be targeting Bree. Bree? Yeah. He keeps hanging out with her. The school secretary said that he's troubled. And he sent me a really creepy text. He took a picture of my underwear at the hotel. And the text said, still thinking about you. You have to do something to get this situation under control. I am afraid of what tomorrow could bring at this rate. I am here to support you. Whatever you need, but you have to stop this kid. But how? Don't worry. We're going to figure it out together. How far are you willing to go? Hey. Um... Hi. What are you doing here? I was just on my way to the drugstore to pick up the stuff for my mom. I saw you and... Who is that? Your dad? Uh, yeah. 
It doesn't want me hanging out with you so much. I don't know what her deal is. Maybe she's just stressed. Are you gonna listen to your mom? Or... Is something wrong? It's your eyes. They're a beautiful color. It's like... They almost look like... Brie? Uh, Hi, Mr. Sullivan. Hi. Y yeah, and you're... Dad, this is Ian. He goes to my new school. Nice to meet you. I was just walking by and saw Bree, and I wanted to say hi. Yeah, I thought you said you were going to the bathroom. Sorry, I just saw Ian outside when I was walking back. Okay. Uh, food's getting cold. I think we should head back. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, have a good night. Yeah. Um, do you want to say goodnight to your mom? <laughs> Teenagers. <laughs> so was that Megan I saw leaving? Yeah, she came over for a bit. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna head back. Oh. A friend. Who? I know some kid from her school, uh... Ian. What? You know this kid? Yes. I told Bree I do not want her spending time with this boy. I have some information about him. You know, I caught a weird vibe from him, too. If you think he's bad for Bree, we need to keep him away from her. Trust me. I know. Remember when I told you about the Johnson boy? How could I forget? You drilled it into my head the whole right here. Topic sentence, people. That means a complete sentence. Attention. All students should remain in class as we conduct a locker check. We've never had a locker check before. I don't know, maybe someone's dealing or something. Did your mom say anything about this to you? No, but she wouldn't anyway. All right, all right, all right. Settle down. Settle down. Come on.
can't say I'm surprised. It's me and Johnson's locker. So a complete sentence has an active conjugated verb, past, present, or future tense, not a participle, not a... Sorry, Mr. Bono. I need to see Ian Johnson. I didn't do anything. Now, son. All right, all right. Let's get back. That's not mine. I found it in your locker. So if it's not yours, whose is it? The locker fairy? You did this, didn't you? Watch your mouth. Follow me into my office, please. I'll be right outside, Mrs. Selma. Thank you, Officer Compton. Let's go. I don't know what game you think you're playing, but it ends now. I've seen your record, Ian. I know you're one step away from breaking probation. I also know that you're over 18 now, so that means hard jail time. I've read up on you. The counselor notes, too. I know you're the only one that thinks you can take care of your mother. Do you really want to leave her behind? My family means everything to me. I'll do anything for the people I love. So, Kathy, you want to lay your cards on the table? Are you sure you can handle that? You are to stay away from my daughter or that knife goes on your record. You know you're pretty sexy when you're angry. Stop it. I'm going to make you pay. Pay? Pay for what? Are you mad that I didn't return your disturbing text message? That night at the hotel, that was no accident, was it? No. I've been tracking you. It's so easy when you're what you do, what you like, who you are, your perfect husband, where you went to college. People are so stupid, putting their entire lives out there on social media for everyone to see. Does that make them feel better about their lives? Does that make you feel better, Kathy? It wasn't that hard to track you. And when I saw you got the principal job at Riverview, I begged the school board to let me repeat my senior year. They felt so sorry for me. <laughs> what a joke. And then you posted about your girlfriend getaway in Miami at that fancy hotel. I knew if I came down there, I'd hook up with you, and I did. You were so easy. Why are you stalking if me? If you deserve it. You recorded it? What's wrong with you? Is that worse than what you did? Have you really looked at me, Kathy? I love watching you score. You need help. No one here wants to help me. Look, if you want me to keep this video to myself and stay away from your daughter, it's going to cost you. Look, I want $50,000 by the end of this week. How do you think I'm supposed to come up with that kind of money? I am a working mother. Save the sob story for someone who cares, Mrs. Sullivan. I know that house is worth a pretty penny. You don't know anything about me. Neil? Then you'll never leave me alone. Ian, we're at a stalemate here. If you post that video, you go to jail. We both lose. I just want the cash so we can get out of this godforsaken town. Who's we? It doesn't matter. We both deal with the repercussions then. So you're going to test me? I have no choice. I can't meet your demands, and even if I could, I'd be under your thumb forever. You're going to regret this. I'm going to say it one last time. You stay away from my daughter, or I swear you will get it. Officer? Mr. Johnson has been expelled. Please escort him off this campus. Let's go, Cupcake.
Are you ready to go? Yep. Listen, Bree, I want to tell you that I expelled Ian. What? Why? We found a weapon in his locker. This is serious. You need to tell me if he comes near you. He's the only one that cares about me. Kicked out again, huh? What's new? I was told June you never end up being anything. Now that you're 18, you can just get the hell out. Son. Listen, I got that taken care of. Boom isn't gonna bother us anymore. She thinks she's gonna get away with it. But not this time. I'll protect us. You, me, and my little sister, Bree. Hello? Ian? It's Gina. How I feel about you. Is this place why you cut me off? You didn't want me to see? Oh my god, you're a spoiled little rich girl. You have no idea. Don't say that. I want you, Ian. What? You made me feel so great when we were together. No one has ever made me feel the way that you did. Why are you so clueless? I only have time for family. Help me. Get out. Get out! <laughs> Did you tell anyone about coming I'm here? I'm sorry. I just wanted to let you know. Did you say anything about coming here, anything about me? I'll do to your face what I just did to that car. Now you tell mommy and daddy that somebody broke in. Get out! talk to me eventually. I did what I had to do, Bree. He had a weapon. I hope that this is finally over now, Megan. I still don't know why he targeted us. But there's something about him. I just, I can't put my finger on it. Something in the way he looks. No matter how many times I show her the correct way, she's not going to get it. What's wrong? You seem off. Nothing. I'm fine. I'm just going to class. Okay. Ian. Where's Boom? I told you, Ma, you don't have to worry about it. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to leave you by yourself for a couple of days. I'll be back, though, and we'll get out of here. Forever.
What's wrong? What? Yeah. Dean, what are you doing here? I have to see you. That knife wasn't mine, I swear. You can't be here. You're gonna get in trouble. I need to tell you something. It's important. Can we go hang out or go to breakfast or something? I can't skip class. Why not? I'll live a little, Principal's daughter. My mom will freak out if she finds out. What's your mom got against me and you? Mom. This is to the back lot. The idiot security guard doesn't even keep his eyes on it. Please. It's important, I promise. If we're gonna go, we need to go now. Did Bree go home early? No, why? Well, it's just that Mr. Bono sent in his electronic attendance. She's marked as absent. What? And you guys have got to remember your no-nos of sense instruction. No double negatives. No... Miss Sullivan. Excuse me, I'm sorry for the interruption. Could I speak to you outside a minute? Sure. Just take a minute, guys. Something wrong? My daughter, Bree. Have you seen her at all this morning? No, I haven't. Uh, Gina, uh, this is private. This is Sullivan. I think I know something about Bree. Please tell me what you know. I sent to the parking lot. Well, it's a way for the kids to skip out unnoticed. When did this happen? Just before class. I should have said something earlier, and I'm sorry. No, thank you for telling me. I'm sorry, I have to go. Bree, sweetheart, where are you? Looking for your daughter, Kathy? You better not have hurt her. Why do you have Bree's phone? Well, don't worry, she's fine. For now. I took her phone out of her bag when she wasn't looking. Where are you? Tell me. When the police find out... Ooh, big mistake. I wouldn't call the police or that uppity husband of yours. What do you want from me? I told you I can't come up with that kind of money. I want you to go straight to the bank and take out everything you have. Then go home and get all the valuables. I'll call you with a drop-off place in two hours. I want to talk to Bree. I need to know she's okay. Ooh, no dice. Send a picture. Remember, two hours. Sweetie. I thought we were getting breakfast. What's going on? Change of plans. Come on. Megan, maybe at my house. He's got Bree. so strange. What do you want to tell me? Did your mom ever cheat? My mom? Oh, God, no. Miss Perfect. People can surprise you. Where are we going now? This isn't the way back to school. We're never going back there. What? What? We have to. My mom is a whore. Your mother is a whore, Bree. Oh, you're scaring me. People like your mom do whatever they want and get away with it. But you don't need that in your life, Bree. We need real family. You're not making any sense. Please, just, we have to go back to the school or just let me out here. I swear I won't say anything to anyone. Oh my God, why do you have a gun? Because I want to protect us. I stole from my no-good stepdad. Ian, this doesn't make sense. I want to protect you. Hey, you're my little sister. Hey, we have the same dad. And your mother's the reason that he's dead. I know I stashed some emergency money in here somewhere. Where did I put it? 
We have to call the police. Please, this is getting too dangerous. Please listen to me. After what you just told me, we have to call the police. Didn't you hear me? He said if, if, if he even suspects the cops, he'll hurt her. We have to do what he says until we get free back. Then we can call the police. Please, Megan, if you want to help me, just... Thank you. Now, go upstairs, get any jewelry you can find that's worth something. I don't care what it is. We have to get free back. You will. I swear. What is this bullet? My mom used to work here until she couldn't anymore. Ian, whatever this is about, you don't have to do this. I can't be your sister. Please, listen to me. I've been planning this for so long. I go online every day to try to find information to make your mother pay. I have no idea what you're talking about. You just leave me here. I'll find my own way back. Please, my mom and I have done nothing to you. Don't be slow like that slut mom ears. Hey, look at your eyes, Bri. They're the same as my dad's, our dad's. I've seen all the pictures. My dad's name is Ben. God. You better remember. Listen to me. Your mother had an affair with my father. She was a teacher where he was a custodian. That was 17 years ago. Don't you get that, Bree? You're my dad's kid, and your mother is the reason that he's dead. That can't be true. Listen. They got into a car crash. They got into a car crash, and they were arguing about your mom. They had a car crash, and my dad, our dad died. And ever since then, my mom's been going downhill. She's been taking pills. My loser of a stepdad convinced her to marry him because he knew that we had a little bit of life insurance money left. And she just keeps getting worse, Bree. I mean, I'm losing her. I mean, I gotta get her out of here. Why hasn't he called? The police, Kathy. Not yet. A year ago, my stepdad got drunk and told me... My mom wouldn't do that. Once I knew your mom's name and a little bit of her background, I did my research. I saw that she was going to be a principal at Riverview. But no. Oh, me and your mom had sex and I recorded. No, you're lying! No! My daughter. You heard no place to make demands, Kathy. You don't forget that. Did you bring the money? How much is it? I've got about $5,000. It's all I could cash out today. I have some jewelry, too. And that'll have to do. For now. Write this address down carefully. And no police, Kathy. This will turn deadly quickly. This must be it. You don't come out in 10 minutes. I'm calling the police. Understand? Kathy, do you hear me? Okay. But 10 minutes. Give me time to find her. Don't be scared. I'm 
once we get this cash, we're gonna blow this stupid town and go somewhere where no one knows us. And we're gonna start over and get away from this nightmare that your mother caused. Free! Lobby's here. Upstairs and don't do anything stupid. Okay, just take it easy. Mom! Hang in there, sweetie. Drop it there and step back. Now let her go. No. She's coming with me just like Dad would have wanted. Really, look at me. Do you not see any resemblance? Does all the pain you caused me that little to you? You're not making any sense, Ian. Does the name Felix Johnson ring a bell? Because he had his kid. Oh, my God. I see it now. I knew there was something familiar about you that night at the hotel. But Felix's son, the baby, his name was Derek. That's my middle name. I stopped going by it when I went to school. I see the family that you ruined. You destroyed our lives. Is it true, Mom? The things he say? Is Dad not my father? Did you have sex with Ian? That's it. Time's up. Answer her! Okay, just don't hurt us. Sweetie, I'm so sorry. He's telling the truth. What? It was a complicated time. Your father and I were having problems in our marriage. Ian's father and I, we just connected. He was having problems in his marriage, too. That's a lie. It's the truth, Ian. Your mother, she wasn't well mentally back then. She constantly flew into jealous rages with your dad. I mean, for no reason. Until one day there was something to be jealous about. It only happened the one time. But it was enough. Oh. I told Ben the truth. But he decided that he, he wanted to stay and raise you as his own. He's a good man. He loves you just as much as I do. Things were good for a while, for years. See, I told you so. Shut up, you monster. Okay, chit-chat's over. Time to get things moving. Then just let us go. You have what you want. The money, the jewelry. There is nothing that matters more to me than my daughter. Nothing! Well, things could have been so different. I could have had my dad. Do you know how much that hurt? I am so sorry, Ian. I truly am. It was a mistake that your father and I made. Oh, shut up, you tricked him. You know that's not true. Time to make you shut up. No! No! I'm so sorry, honey, for everything. I made a huge mistake, and I never wanted you to have to pay for it. I'm just happy you're alive. I should have listened to you. I'm so sorry. You have nothing to be sorry about. I love you. You're right here, Kath. We'll meet you at the hospital. I love you, too. OK? just continue to grow up too fast. I know. I've grown up a lot these past couple months. All right, who's ready for my world-famous hamburger? World-famous, huh? That's what he seems to think. Ah. I'll come help. 
So, Thanks, how are things going between you and Ben? If anything came out of that nightmare, I think that it's that we're starting to become a family again.